Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford, we'll be making Mondrian spider webs. You will need a sheet of A4 white card, some black card, a ruler, some felt tip pens in the three primary colours, a black fine liner, a pencil, some scissors, a print stick, and some googly eyes. To start with, on your white card with the pencil, you're going to draw a dot, just like you're drawing a vanishing point if you're doing one point perspective. This dot can be anywhere on the page. And then using your ruler, you're going to connect this dot to each corner of the page. So it is going to be like a vanishing point, but in this case, it's going to be the center of your web. Then draw more lines from the dot to the edge of the paper. This time it doesn't have to go to the corners, just to the edge of the paper, so it creates sections. When you are happy with how many sections you have, you're going to draw from the one line to the other line in each section, doing a U shape, just like you can see me doing on the screen now. And you're going to do this, this to connect each section up. So going from one line to the next, one line to the next, join in the point from the previous line and you're going to go all the way around the web until your lines connect again so you'll have U-shapes between every single section. Here is my first complete circuit. I'm now going to echo the shape as I get closer to the centre of the web, that vanishing point, but as I get closer to that point the sections are going to get closer together and any that are further away are going to be further apart should then have a completed web shape and you can start colouring in different sections of the web so you're going to use your three primary colours for this, I'm starting with red and you're just going to colour in random sections as long as you don't have two reds next to each other for example and you want to leave some sections white still. The best rule to follow is to leave about a third to half of the sections white and then colour in the other sections in blue, yellow and red. When you've completed your colouring, use your black outlining pen to go over your lines that you did previously to your vanishing point and go over your U-shaped lines too. That is your web made, we can now move on to the spider. So with the black card you want to draw around the lid of a print stick and create 16 strips of card that are 5mm wide each and about 3cm long in length. Cut the circle and the strips of black card out. Go ahead and glue eight strips of the card to the round piece of card so that you've got a body of a spider and then eight really short legs at this point. I like to leave a little gap at the top of the body and the bottom of the body so that you can tell which are his left legs and which are his right legs rather than one continuous round of legs. Glue this little guy onto any part of your web and you can put him at an angle as well if you like. Ugh, I filmed this one out a shot so you can't see what I did, I'll just have to talk you through what I did. So what you didn't see me do is attach the other eight strips of card uh, to the legs that I previously put on. So I basically just put a bit of glue on the end of the strip and put them at an angle on the strips that are already on the body of the spider to give him some nice bendy legs. But now he needs some eyes, so we're going to get some googly eyes and stick these on as well onto his body. Um, 
obviously you can choose two the same size or two different ones I thought made him look quite cute. And there he is, sat waiting to catch his flies. This took one hour to make. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons on a Monday and other art related content every other Thursday. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford.